back to the procrastinator, my name is Jan, and today we're continuing our let's play of a game I like to call We Are Not the Emperor, Let's Use Force. Uh, we're continuing our let's play as Austria. Uh, I don't remember what the hell we were doing in the previous episode. I think we were annexing all our vassals. Um, because I wanted to. <laughs> More or less. So I think that's what we were doing. So we're gonna continue doing it. Uh, we'll see what happens. Get us some diplomatic power again so we can take up. Someone arrived. We have a new cardinal in power, which is fantastic. We have two more that are being trained up to become glorious. France hates us. Bavaria hates us. Do we have. What were we doing? Do we, do we, were we fabricating claims on Bavaria? Yes, we were. We should fabricate more. Oh, we are already fabricating claim on. Franche Comte. Okay. All we wanted. All I ever wanted was to rule Bavaria. Actually, all I ever wanted was for Poland to become a lesser partner in a PU and then we would be set. Which I mentioned in my Tunisia game, I said that I got Austria and... No, in my... Yeah, in my Iron Man... In, I mentioned in the Tunisia Let's Play that my Iron Man game I'm playing on my own, as France, I managed to get Castile and Austria in a view. Um, and quite a big... both of those nations, so... Quite powerful, yeah! Can we fabricate any more claims? No, but we can support rebels. Do we have the money? Yes, we do. Saxon Patriots in Wittenberg. But is it worth it? A 6% revolt risk. Barwa has a 1% revolt risk. I can't see. Can't see! These are of course Czech as well. Hmm. Do they have the same... I think Austria gets a... Um, it doesn't... I'm pretty sure Austria gets a thingy where it's like... We... You know... Here do imperial things, or, um, something. <laughs> it's a, it's a thing, it's a thing with Austria, it's like, in, here's a PU, enforced PU classes value against Bohemia, and I think it does the same for Hungary as well. Because as we know, all, the Austro-Hungarian Empire was basically this, it was this, it was this. We integrated Ansbach, which means we got the admin points as well. Uh, prove legitimacy. Yeah, legitimacy is quite bad. Take French Comte. Who are you allied to? Well, their alliances aren't too good, but we do have this coalition against us. It's not really a coalition yet, but it might become a coalition soon. So I'm kind of wary on going to war right now. I mean, 10 years and it will be completely gone, but... Actually, we should fabricate a claim on Augsburg. Because it is inside our territory. Uh, we were discovered over here. They're at war with France. French conquest of Avignon. France is at war with the Papal State Switzerland and Genoa. France announced Bohemia as the rival. You know what they say? The enemy of my enemy is my friend. Another harmony. Ah, uh, we were discovered again. What are you doing, troops? Uh, do any of these need the troops? No. Manchua is now in a coalition against us. <laughs> yeah, because that aggressive expansion just jumped up to 77. Ah, uh, I hate this new thing. New aggressive expansion thing. Oh yeah, here, let's give you a huge amount of aggressive expansion for anything you do, and then take forever to take it away so that you can't do anything else for the rest of the game. Why is Bohemia the war? Damn you, Bohemia. Uh, take the next admin tech. Be awesome. 
No. And then I'm gonna go and see the score comparison over here. It's the Ottomans, the Ming, and then Austria. Our score is going up, although the Xian score is going up a bit faster. Yeah, because they're just better than we are. Damn it! Uh, Ulm is also inside our territory, I forgot. Nah, I would prove legitimacy, it would give us shit, but it... Oh, come on! Are you, are you kidding me? Is there any nation that won't be in a coalition against us? Is there anything we won't be discovered doing? Stupid assholes. Stupid diplomats incapable of doing anything. Portugal would be a good thing to get in a PU. Look at all the territory they control. And I'm guessing they're the biggest colonial power as well, because Portugal tends to do that. Plus one, plus one, plus one. Do you have anything better? 1. Uh, 1.15, 1.17 in Salzburg. And then 1.15 in Munich as well. So once we can get that, that would be a good thing to do. Yes, all three of the agents were discovered. Our allies don't care. The problem is that everyone around us cares. We can't do anything. We're not like France. If you're playing as France, you can dip into Castile and, you know, the Pyrenean Peninsula and then dip a little bit into the Empire and dip a little bit into England and you're okay. Uh, here, it's either the... you're basically in the Empire all the time, so... And I, we can't go south because there's nothing for to go south. Because the only thing we could go south is Italy. And what the hell is Italy gonna do? I mean, uh, Venice. And what the hell are we gonna do in Venice? It will affect the Empire and either way. And it's annoying and... It's annoying. Um, with the previous patch, it was good. Because you could go, oh yeah, look, here I have this much. I can go in here. Um, I can do this and I can do this and... Now just wait five years and my guess expansion will be down to a reasonable level so that I can attack someone again. And now all I seem to do is sit around waiting for aggressive expansion to go down for most of the game. Which is annoying as shit and I don't like it. I know there are ideas that, that kind of reduce the impact of it. But, you know, what are we going to do with them if we can't even get them? I, I think it's one of these. Ah, uh, where is it? This one reduces the core creation cost, which is, which is a really good idea. One of these... I don't remember which one it is. But one of the idea groups reduces the aggressive expansion impact. Might actually be the diplomatic, yeah. Flexible negotiation by 5%, which isn't enough. Colin is now a vassal of Bohemia. We've learned about a few things as well. It really isn't worth building temples, is it? Or constables, for that matter. Just wait until we can build a dry dock. Or a um, training field. Rather. I'm not gonna bother with trade either. Did we move our trade capital? I don't remember. Check, no, it's still in Vienna. We could move it, but... Yeah, screw the Venetian opinion of us. I really can't be bothered to care. Yeah, retaining power inland is impossible. I think this needs a rework, because they added the... Um, um, they added in the thingy which gives um, bonuses to trading inland, uh, but you can't really get to it that well. It's uh, hard to explain, but it, it, they're not effective. So is that the 
more to use. Um, it's like you can, yeah, you can steer, but it will go through all the the nodes that are inside and just head out to one of the um, uh, to one of the end nodes. Which I guess m makes a little bit of sense, but on the other hand, nations that are inland should be able to um, control trade a lot more efficiently. We should probably increase our um, army size because we can now uh, get a few more cannons into our armies. So 12 cannons would mean 300 and something cash that we would need, so we're gonna save up a bit of money. I don't know how the Hansa has managed to expand so much without basically having any aggressive... Well, they have some aggressive engine, but... The Mamluks! Huh. That's a first. The Mamluks annexed... Um, Venice. I could go to war with the Mamluks, no one would care about that. But it, I won't be able to get to the actual Mamluks, so... Unless... well, they would give me military access, but I would have to march through Hungary and the Ottomans into Mamlukian territory. Maybe once they're weak enough, we'll go after them. But I've never seen this happen before. They converting them? No, they're just creating a core. I think this 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 guy is a core creation, dude. Yeah. They're doing the same in Dalmatia. As well. That's so weird. I've never seen the Mamluks take over Venice. And they usually go to war. I mean, it's it's not an uncommon sight to see them go to war. Damn you! Larger hitboxes, you annoy me. It's like they're there to purposely vex me. All the time. I'm... I'm not happy with the latest patch, if you haven't noticed. I mean, I'm happy with a bunch of things it did, but I'm not happy with some of the things it did. Especially the aggressive expansion. It's just... No. If, if you are not gonna let us... Or if you're not gonna have a gas expansion drop out quickly, or at a reasonable pace, then put in ideas that will help it uh, be reduced. I mean, the um, anything that has uh, better relations over time, which I think is only the religious ideas, which add a 50% better relation over time. Um, nothing else is really worth it. I mean, we're gonna take the religious ideas because we're gonna need them anyways, but. It is annoying. Who has the largest army in the world these days? I haven't checked in a while, I think. We do, followed by Bohemia and France, who has their immense manpower, but it doesn't mean anything because we're not the Emperor. We only have one vote in the Imperial Senate anyways. <laughs> and that's our lovely, lovely ally, or lovely under PU member, who somehow has a royal marriage with Frankfurt. Because that works. Um, yeah. They like us. Have improved relations. I annexed a member of the HRD, they don't like that. But the rest of the HRD hates our guts. Actually, we're gonna... Hmm, might take a look into Influence tab, which is a really good tab. Not even of any of the Empire members are willing to become vassals. Ansbach would, but they don't like us enough. See, none of them like us, that's the problem. Because I gone and pissed all of them off. Yeah, and every, 
anything that's worth anything as an archbishopric. Or another order republic. You're a kingdom, but you hate my guts. Everyone hates on the Emperor. Well, not the Emperor. On the one well, he, who should be Emperor, but... Damn them. Damn them all! We are going to get that thingy for Hungary and Bohemia eventually. Um, I can actually Google it while we're here. Um, EU for... Austria. Switzerland left the coalition against us. <laughs> really? Why is that, Switzerland? You no longer hate us. You just slightly fear us. Although you desire half my country. Uh, let's see. That? Austrian events? Is that, is that what it is? Or is it in missions? I don't know. Austrian events. Let's see. Noble revolt in Hungary. The Royal Letter of Bohemia. What's that? What does it do? Okay, that doesn't make any sense. Austria has a lot of their own kind of things. Nobody will take Hungary. Yeah, this doesn't work. It's not the one. It's not the one. Uh, we had we had a loan. You didn't even know. Ah, uh, but yeah. I think it needs to be at least 1500, and then you get um, a thingy about their um, being a subject or something. But you must not be the HRD Emperor um, in that case, that's that's a thing. So it's kind of good, um, and we get the same for Hungary. I think the Hungarian one is called the Decline of Hungary or something like that, and um, there's something about Overlordship of Bohemia. Um, which we get claims on. So, once we get those, we will take them. I mean, Bohemia is useless. Excuse that, it was my, um, my bad. Um, uh, we will take Bohemia. Bohemia has shit allies and they're just really powerful. And then we'll take Hungary and that will give us a huge, huge power base. So, yeah, I'm now gonna, I'm gonna send around diplomats a bit into nations that hate us and try to get them out of the, out of the um, coalition against us. We do have our alliance base still, which is quite powerful and um, shouldn't present a problem. I don't want to become emperor. We already discussed this. We discussed this just now. We can have a few more troops, so each of these will technically need 6,000 more troops. We can't afford that many more troops, um, or we'll go over the force limit. But we can definitely get them another set of um, cannons to each. Just to ensure that we have military superiority over everyone around us. You, have, you both have too many cavalry as well. Why do you have so much cavalry units? That's a silly, silly thing. Should have 4,000 cavalry and no more. Cavalry doesn't die that much. Sabados is running long and we did nothing. Nothing. France has a disputed secession. Woo, do they now? Ah, oh, they get a regency for Charles de Valois. There's Venetian nationalists in Venice. Which I'm guessing the Mamlux will try to destroy quickly. The retort with Karakuyunlu in the Crimean conquest of Karakuyunlu. No guy seems to be quite big as well. Uh, I'm gonna end the episode as soon as these troops are 
all of them are finished building. Who's in a coalition against us? You are, and you are. Well, you're outraged with my actions. I'm all three, what did you expect? Anywho, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to share it with your friends. And uh, yeah, until next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>